I got no charge. Um, there's no power going to it. Okay, so we got power coming here. We got power going into it. And I don't see any fuses here. What we have to do is we have to check, make sure there's power coming out. Because it may be tricky to stick a meter in there. Um, I could stick a meter in there. Sure. But this does not seem to have any resets. Or yeah, I looked. I couldn't find the warranty for it. Okay, well, this part here is putting out, uh, it's putting out, uh, 220 AC. It's doing it, huh? Oh, excuse me, uh, well, it's, it's getting it in, but, uh, let's see, I'm trying to figure out where the, so this is the output right here. Um, I gotta get up in there behind that thing. Um, it doesn't seem to be putting out. Um, really? Yeah. Um. Okay, so here's the deal. We're gonna do a soft reboot. Just leave it unplugged for two hours. Unplugged for two hours. And if that doesn't work, here's the reset button right here. We'll plug it in after two hours if that doesn't reboot it. Plug it in and then we, get, we push the reset button right there. And that should reset it. Meanwhile, we're going to hook up another charger. We're going to hook up the original slow charger. The slow charger may be better uh, for the battery. Uh, but, uh, yeah, we're going to hook another charger up. Because we do have the original slow charger. This is a fast charger. And, uh, by the way, they were really helpful. Uh, 855-950-6339 is the Siemens number and uh, their tech support. Okay, so this is a slow charger. This is the original slow charger came with it, Nissan. And this is basically a standard modern size uh, oven plug socket like that. So, I'm going to install that puppy. So we have both options here. Okay, so we got our alternate slow charge box hooked in. And so this slow charger should plug right in. Okay, so we got the green light going. Then we got this red light flashing. Not sure what that is. 